Microsoft at their recent build conference has unveiled something absolutely fascinating, and that is what they're calling recall. So this is actually something that's interesting. They're going hardware and software on this um, in true, I don't know, uh, you know, Apple fashion almost, it feels like. And a lot of people are saying that this is actually going to directly compete with Apple um, in what in in the MacBook uh, laptop that has kind of dominated um, the space for a long time. So what Microsoft's actually doing, they're creating a device that screenshots your screen every couple seconds, no matter what you're doing. And uh, you can essentially use those screenshots. It scans them with AI. You can use those screenshots. You could go to the recall thing and search for, hey, like two weeks ago, I was working on a historical documentary project. Like what website did I use to cite this? Uh, or did I use to get this piece of information from? You just can't remember it. And it's going to go and find it and give it to you. I think this is really amazing. A lot of people are saying it's a little alarming. What are you seeing on this, Connor? Yeah, I mean, okay. So first of all, just the tech is awesome, and I think you're, I think you're right to compare it to Apple and MacBook. It's here's the thing, like for MacBook users out there, and I am, I am one of them. Like you can never consider going back to a PC, right? It's just like MacBook feels so superior. It just does. But this is a little bit different because you know sometimes in these things you have to go where everybody is. And businesses, for the most part, use PC. They use Windows. I mean, I know sort of in big consulting firms, everything else, they're using PC and Windows. People typically aren't using Macs in the corporate world, which is an amazing sort of feat by Microsoft, first of all. But what I would say about this is that if they can create this new Copilot Plus PC, which is going to have like a small uh, AI model on it, I think that I saw somewhere, Jane, you and I were talking about this, it was like a 3.3B uh, ability parameter uh, model probably designed. I, I think it was actually designed by Microsoft. This is the whole thing about Microsoft starting to design uh, their own tools. And I know there's some controversy. Oh, are they competing with OpenAI? In a way, yes. And in a way, it doesn't matter, right? I mean, like they just need these for their own for their own tools. Uh, totally different conversation, which I would love to have as well around that. But here's the thing about Copilot plus PCs, right? They have this tool, as you sort of say, recall on it. And Jaden, I, I think I need you to check me on something here because I'm on you know, LinkedIn and all that kind of stuff. And we talk about this a lot, like, and I'm always preaching this one thing and I'm terrified that right now I'm about to go completely against it. So anytime sort of like people are looking at, you know, new hardware or new things or like, oh, I don't think I would want this. I'm always encouraging folks like, listen, don't worry about if you want this right now or not. Just understand that this is basically the future. So try to evaluate if it was around, like, how would you use it? All that kind of stuff. Because we can kind of go all day and say, Think about the iPhone, right? Like imagine if we told people 30 years ago, like in your hand, you'd have a camera all the time that people wouldn't really notice it was a camera because it was also a phone. You could video anything, record anything. That would feel kind of freaky. That's kind of the same with this whole recall thing. I can't personally think of a use case. Now, I hope we time capsule this and I sound like an idiot later, but I can't think of how I would use something tracking. I can imagine you know, tracking all my conversations on, you know, Teams or Zoom or something like that for note taking. But do I really need it seeing everything I'm doing? Now, they've given a lot of thought to this. But Jaden, just I want just your gut instinct. Are you excited about this? Not in terms of the tech, but like, would you use it? Would you be excited to use it? How would you use it? Um, okay. My like gut feeling on this whole thing is that Zuck is like drooling right now, wishing that he owned this. He's like, oh my gosh, I went through so much work. Apple did this whole battle with me to block privacy so Facebook can't track anything on the iPhone anymore. And we tried to get all this data. And now Microsoft is just willingly, everyone's just giving over every single screenshot on their screen. Like the amount of data and profiling you could build on a person if you could just track everything on their screen. You don't need to know if they liked the McDonald's page or if they like Oreos. Like you just know everything about them. Um, so yeah, anyways, I think that's, that's pretty funny. That being said, I think the value is there. It's, I think for people that use it, it's going to seem really old fashioned that like, can, do you remember when we used to try to like have to go to our YouTube search history or like a browser search history to try to remember what page or where we were at or what we were saying or what we were doing? Because think about it, if it's really screenshotting everything, um, you could be like, Hey, I was having a conversation with Connor last week about, okay, here's something you would use this for, Connor, because you literally said this to me like in our last yeah. episode. You were like, I was writing a newsletter about this thing 
and now I can't find the article that I was sourcing it no, from. Or like yet. now I like can't remember exactly what I was saying about this paragraph about the thing. Like, so it's going to know all of that. It's going to be able to pull it up, and it's going to be able to tell you like exactly where stuff is. I think the use is there, but then the question, of course, I think the biggest question is privacy and security, which I I'm sure if it's everyone's biggest concern, Microsoft is going to be like, we're totally private, we're totally secure. But then it's like a big tech company and like, oops, we got hacked or like even Google had like Google Plus, the whole thing got like hacked and they quickly just shut down the whole program because they knew that there's going to be a massive lawsuit. There probably was. I, I didn't really step today. Actually, I think there was anyways. But uh, they just shut down the whole program because like Google Plus, the equivalent of Twitter or Facebook, the whole thing got completely hacked and leaked. In In my opinion, I don't trust any company to keep my data private or secure. Um I'm not shocked when LastPass, the password manager, the biggest password manager in the world, who I've been using for the last eight years, oops, we got like half. Oh. It's like, so just go change all your passwords. Dude, that's the only reason I use your freaking password manager. You store 1,000 passwords for every random site I've ever done. And like the crazy thing is, it's not even things you think of. It's like, oh, I'm, I'll go change my passwords for like my important sites. It's like, no, people are hacking your domino's pizza account because you don't remember you have a credit card on file there and they're just ordering themselves unlimited pizza it's like it's so annoying i don't trust anyone okay I, my last thing on this sorry for this long rant. Love it, rant no no this is great when you buy a house my least favorite thing in the entire freaking world is that your mortgage company is like give us your social security number your bank account details your every single thing and upload it to our little web portal i'm like you guys are the least secure place in the world and i'm uploading all of my major documents to this thing and it's like oops like Experian got hacked and it's like like you can't trust anyone there's, there's, it's gonna get hacked so my thing is I know Microsoft is big and bad and whatever but like what would you do if your if your data did get hacked even if it was the most secure thing in the world but I think the only answer to this that actually is gonna be viable this is this is in a perfect world now what's gonna actually happen is this thing's gonna go Microsoft's gonna store it all in the cloud it's going to get hacked someday or leaked or broken or Microsoft's going to give all your info to the CIA or whatever amount of things is going to happen that you don't like. That's the reality. What would be a perfect world? So anyone listening to this that wants to make this product, um, because this is a this is software. You don't need a whole device for this. You could just install this on your computer and use this. They're leveraging their hardware and their trust. In a perfect world, there is a system that's run exclusively on your computer and it's like in an encrypted drive and it does this. This is everything you ever do on your computer. This is like, you don't want to just share this. Your your social security number's on there, your passport, your kids' photos, like everything private in your whole life is on there. You don't want to share this stuff. So sorry for the incredibly long rant. The only way I think that this is a good product is if it's encrypted on device and there's some way, I mean, people can maybe hack your device, but there's some way to, to stop it from just, all your everything you've ever done get out into the ether yeah i so it's funny like i i'd love to disagree with you here but i i'm actually really on your side here on this like in terms of privacy i'm actually not like a big privacy guy like i just kind of assume that all my stuff is out there and i just cross my fingers and i watch my credit card statement so i'm just like you know let's let's hope that nothing gets out there but with something like this i guess my first thing is just the efficacy of it. Like, does it work? Like, remember when Google, and this is a year ago when Google came out with, uh, well, it was Gemini, I guess, but it was like Gemini's ability to search through emails. And I tried it right away and it was very, very bad. Now, Google, I think, has gotten a lot better at it. But like, as soon as you saw that, you're like, this is perfect. This is exactly what Gemini should be used for. It should be used for things that you need every day. Like, instead of like, oh my gosh, like when I was supposed to have that, like, when did, what did I sign up for for my kid's soccer practice, bringing oranges or whatever? And you just sort of say like, Google, when did I do that? And that should be very easy, right? I mean, like, because if Gemini has your whatever, 20,000 emails or whatever is in there, it's just text, right? I mean, like, it's it's only text and it should, it's actually essentially like a rag model at that point, right? Mm -hmm. And even that, it just was so bad at it. And I've not tested the new, I don't know, I love Google, but my gosh, like, come on, like the, the names, I don't even know what to call these things anymore. Now it's like AI something or whatever, like whatever, whatever the thing is where they're going to allow you to search emails better. Yeah. That should be very simple. And even that is not very good. So again, you know, this at some point will come in handy. But to allow Microsoft to see everything I see, again, not the end of the world. If you really need something private, you can go to the incognito mode. They've said that they will not track that. Okay, fair enough. But I guess my big point is like how well this works. So like for me, for example, 
I like have everything in like my Apple notes, right? So like my bank account information, like checking, like password, just like random stuff, just like in Apple notes. And I know that's in the cloud too, so I'm screwed anyway. But I guess the point is that like, I already know how to search for that stuff. And I don't want to sound like a Luddite and be like, well, nothing else will ever replace that. But do I really think that in this kind of like multimodal search where it's watching the same videos I'm watching and listening to the same conversations I'm listening to and like looking at like, you know, that that blue dress that I wanted to buy for my daughter or whatever, is it actually going to work? And I have huge questions about whether it's going to work. And I think that's my big thing right now. I, I don't, but again, I would love to hear folks from anybody who says like, this is going to be amazing. And this is how I would use it. Because at the moment, I just can't see myself using it. That's my big issue. Okay. Last thing you want to bring up because you brought up, um, you know, they won't track in incognito mode, which is an interesting thing, right? Then people are like, oh, perfect, incognito mode. And then they won't track me. Uh, this is NPR from April 1st of this year, which makes me think it's an April Fool's joke. But I, the story was not an April Fool's joke. Like that together. <laughs> um it says Google will destroy the private browsing history of millions of people who used incognito mode in its Chrome browser as part of a settlement filed to the federal court on Monday in a case over the company's secret tracking of web traffic. Okay, Google tracked your incognito mode, but they got sued in court, so they're going to delete it. Just like, get out of here. Like, I don't trust anyone. I know you all are incognito mode. We won't track you. Like, dude, if you give them permission to track you, they're, they're tracking you. I, I love this. Listen, guys, like, tell us how you'd use it. Tell us what your thoughts are on this. This is a huge topic for us. If you love Jaden's rants, if you want more of this, if you want him to get even rantier, please come and leave us a rating and review. Guys, I know we always ask, but it really does mean a lot to us. And maybe today's the day. Maybe today is the day that you wouldn't mind doing that. Um, we are shooting for 100 reviews. It's going to allow us to get some phenomenal guests, which we are already getting already. Uh, really just want to thank you all for, for listening and being part of our, our day and have an amazing rest of your day today.